Hello everyone, Greg Kononenko here, and today I want to share with you the best WordPress hosting for 2024. Recently, I have switched all of my websites from old hosting providers to a new hosting provider, and I'm extremely happy with the result. I'm going to show you exactly why I've done this and the criteria on which I've made this decision is here on the screen and that is based on speed, price, support and features. This new hosting provider that I'm using is called Cloudways. You can see this is my dashboard of Cloudways and I've got all of my 14 websites that are hosted now on Cloudways. Just in case you're wondering what is the big difference between Cloudways and other hosting providers of roughly the same range, Cloudways actually gives you a dedicated cloud server. And here is exactly what this means. So if you look at other shared hosting providers, so there would be hosts like GoDaddy or HostGator or SiteGround, they use a shared hosting structure, which basically means that if you have a server, imagine that this circle is a server, uh, they will generally have dozens, probably even hundreds of websites that are running on this one server. So they'll be like, this green bit might be your website and then this orange bit here might be my website and there's gonna be hundreds of other websites sitting on that same server, which basically means that your website is not going to be as fast because there are requests and visitors coming in from all over the world to each of these websites and there's only one server effectively handling all of this. So sometimes those websites might experience high traffic, there's shared resources and all of that sort of stuff going on. So basically the speed really suffers and this is where Cloudways is actually different because Cloudways gives you your own dedicated cloud server. So that means that your website owns and uses 100% of the resources of the cloud server. And that is actually brilliant because it really improves the speed with which your website runs and it gives you a lot of other advantages that I'm gonna uh, talk to you a little bit later on in this video. But just to illustrate my point, uh, this is a little silly website that I've just thrown together very quickly. I haven't done any optimization on that website. And this website is hosted on Cloudways. And you can see that GT Metrics has given me grade A, performance 100, structure 99, LCP 392. So everything is basically green. And that is without me doing anything. This is a website that runs on WordPress and uses a page builder. So typically those websites will actually have uh, quite worse performance metrics on shared hosting providers. But on Cloudways, right out of the gate, this performance is all green, grade A, 100%, 99%, and very low LCP value, which just uh, talks about how quickly your website produces the first contentful paint, which is very important for your user experience, as well as for the rankings of your website in Google search. There are tons of other comparisons available online that you can find yourself, but I'll just show you one more comparison that was done uh, based on a test of how quickly it actually takes to load a 1.5 megabyte page and SiteGround startup plan average speed is 1.24 seconds, Cloudways one gigabyte digital ocean plan is 439 milliseconds. So speed is one of the most critical things that you can do to improve your website rankings, to acquire more customers and Cloudways basically gives you a lot more speed. All right, and now the big question on everyone's mind. So clearly you can get a lot more speed with Cloudways, but how much does Cloudways cost in comparison to its peers in the marketplace? So here is the pricing page from Cloudways and it defaults to digital ocean plans, which is basically what I'm using. And you've got two choices here. You've got a premium tier and a standard tier. There is not a lot of difference between them. You'll get a massive improvement, no matter which one you go for, you can read up and get a little bit more information on what is premium versus standard. But basically Digital Ocean standard plan starts at 11 USD per month. And then as you need more resources, you can always upscale it. And to be fair, this one gigabyte plan is actually enough for you, even if you're running a high traffic website 
For a long time, I was using the one gigabyte plan, the 11 US a month plan, and that was enough for me to run a high traffic travel blog website. So I only upscale because I've got several other applications that are quite resource intensive now, but for most users, you will be completely fine with the cheapest plan. Now let's compare this with the pricing for something like SiteGround. So SiteGround is a very well-known hosting and I've used SiteGround in the past, but you will notice that their prices are actually not much cheaper if cheaper at all than Cloudways, because look at this. So their startup plan, okay, is $2.99 per month. Now it comes with certain terms and conditions. You need to sign up for a minimum of X months to get this price. And you will also notice that it's discounted from $17.99 a month. Okay, so what happens is that you sign up at $2.99 per month, let's say for a year, but then after a year, your renewal will be billed at $17.99 per month. So you kind of get this discounted price up front. Now, Cloudways, there is no change. After 12 months, your pricing is still 11 US per month. And the other big difference here is that, of course, with a startup plan, you only get one website, you only get 10 gigabytes of web space, and there are certain limitations. So to get um, a, one of the higher plans, it's $4.99 or $7.99, but they're much more expensive upon renewal. You'll see that there is $29.99 a month and $44.99 a month that you will be charged upon renewal. And even if you go for the $7.99 per month plan for the 12 months, it's actually not much cheaper than $11 a month, but the difference that you will get in performance and in features and in speed and ultimately in the amount of traffic and conversions that your website gets is going to be huge and is going to be in the favor of Cloudways, in my opinion, simply because the websites that I've got on Cloudways are running lightning fast. And the difference, of course, here is that all of these plans start up, grow big and go geek. They are shared hosting plans. So you would still be getting this picture with those plans, okay, and not a dedicated picture like with Cloudways. If you wanted to compare like for like, so you wanted to get cloud hosting with SiteGround, then check out these prices. Okay, so you would be starting at $100 per month plan to get something comparable where, you, where you've actually got cloud dedicated hosting. Next, I want to talk about support. Support is extremely important for anyone who owns websites or owns a business. And there are often times when I'm stuck trying to do something, maybe trying to set up a redirection, trying to set up an email, trying to set up something with my websites, and I just don't know how to do this. With Cloudways, you actually have real-time chat support. You can see here, I've got records of my conversations with chat support, and they've always been extremely helpful. So far, they've always been able to help me while I was live on the conversation with them, and that's actually been really helpful and is one of the reasons why I really enjoy Cloudways. Okay, so just to give you a bit of a look inside how Cloudways operates, you may be familiar with cPanel in other hosting providers. Cloudways doesn't actually have cPanel. So the way that it's set up, you've got your servers and on each server you can have one or more applications. So each website will basically be an application. So I've got my server over here and if I switch to the applications view, here are all of my websites and then you can click on each one of those websites and you can manage it from there. So for example, this is the view for my caffeinatedblogger.com website and uh, you can see on the left hand side, you've got all of the similar kind of things that you would find typically inside a C panel, control panel. So you've got your SSL certificate, you've got your application settings, migration tools, cloud for access, uh, staging management, and so on. So it's not really that difficult from cPanel, but just something to keep in mind that you will be managing your website in a different way, not via cPanel. So if you guys want to give Cloudways a try, then click the link just in the description below. If there are any special deals or discount coupons, I'll make sure to update them in there from time to time. There's generally a trial offer that Cloudways offer as well. So you can give it a try for free and see if Cloudways is for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video.